Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. In this episode of Mattressology, we are gonna talk about what to expect when you get a new mattress in your home. So let's go. So if you're watching this video, that means you're in mattress shopping mode, you're looking to get a new mattress. Unless you're a mattress weirdo and you just like to geek out on mattress stuff, then well, thank you. Give us a call. We always are looking for hiring mattress weirdos, but usually you're in mattress shopping mode. What happens after you get the mattress in your home? So Gabe, why is this important? Yeah, it's important to for a few reasons. One, it's gonna save you some time. Save you some time. You know, when shopping for a mattress, yep. it'll save you some money because yep. you have the right expectations. And then two or three, it manages your expectations yes. for that first night when you have that mattress. Yeah, yeah. The first couple of weeks when you have that mattress. This is really important because, you know, there are times before we started going over this with customers that people will give us a call like within the next day or two days after getting their mattress delivered, even a couple of hours after delivery, like, hey, is my mattress supposed to do this? This is what's happening. And all of that was normal. Like here, that's common. And since we started doing that, customer satisfaction totally went up. And then those calls went down and people kept their mattress that was the right one for them. So yeah. uh, we wanted to go over this with you. So after you get your new mattress, these are the things that you need to just pay attention to, which let's go over the first one. There are five things mm -hmm. that we say you just pay attention to what to expect. I would say the most common one. Common one is going to give it some time. You got to give that mattress some time. There are two things that need to be broken in with the mattress. Yes. One, the first is obviously the mattress of course right? the mattress obviously yes yeah the mattress needs to break in the materials are stiffer not so much with latex it doesn't drastically change as much as foam does right it still changes but not as much as foam and then also the coils too they start need to start being used and stuff like that yeah you know it just needs to it's almost common sense but we don't really think about that yeah right? i mean it's like a new pair of shoes i mean right. the, the analogy i always like to use is like a new pair of shoes you get a new shoes a little bit stiffer it takes mm -hmm. some time to break those in especially in like high quality leather shoes like it's gonna take a little time to break those yeah. until they fit your feet properly. That's very similar to a mattress. Yep. It's just gonna take some time for the mattress to break in a bit, to, for it to feel like the showroom floor. Mm -hmm. And usually it takes a few weeks, maybe anywhere from three to six weeks on average, depending on the type of mattress, depending on the person, but it does take some time for the mattress to bro break in. Yeah. But there's, what were you gonna say? Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna throw in, yeah, I mean, you're jumping into it already, but the mattress yeah. is number one. The mattress is number one, but well, there's also a number two thing which that is needs to be broken in. Yes. Gabe's getting zealous. I'm, I'm just he's, throwing it, I'm ready to go ready. run. So, uh, yeah, your body. Yeah. Gabe, what, so what do you mean? Like your body needs to be broken in. Like, what does that mean? Yeah, so your body's not used to the new mattress, right? It's been on that, maybe it was a crummy mattress. Maybe it was a good mattress for some time and now all of a sudden lost support, right? Yeah. The mattress that you're replacing. But your body needs to adjust to that new sleeping surface, the new support, yep. the new comfort layers. Yeah, your body's just not used to that. Yeah, I mean, when you're younger, you know, we have that more of that flexibility. Well, as we get uh -huh. older, and I'm not gonna mention any numbers and with older, but it does take some time for your body to get used to it. I mean, the analogy I like to use is if you haven't worked out in a while, you know, you start going to the gym and then you're gonna get sore, you know, that's good for your body. You know, don't stop working out, just get through it. Kind of like your mattress, you might be wake up a little bit sore because your body's just not used to that new position. Mm. It gives you a little bit of correction. You may wake up a little sore. And I would say anywhere from, again, it could be a week. It could be, I've seen as long as six, seven weeks, you know, there's a little bit of soreness. Now you don't want to be in super big, bad pain. Right, you know? like, for and sure. I'll tell people like, if you're in like super pain, you know, you just cannot stand it, you know, then you might want to give that, try something else, yeah. give the sore call, you know, but soreness, stiffness, just a little bit of discomfort, you know, it's your body's going to yeah. correct it. You know, it's like, this is a little shock your body's like oh what are you doing this is mm -hmm. different you know this is a different firmness different support this is it so your body might go through a little shock you know and yep. as we get it older that is more common so that's the first one give it some time to break yep. up the mattress and your body the number two thing that you want to look for what to expect yeah. with when you get a new mattress this is a big one is body impressions. Yep. Gabe, what is body impressions? Like what? Yeah, what? so a lot of people would assume like the body impressions, oh, it's just now the mattress is breaking down, it's sagging, yep. doing what my old mattress did. But you know what, again, these are, there's all brand new fibers inside there, yep. right? Never been slept on, yep. never been lied on. And just like a brand new pair of shoes, you know, you start wearing the shoes, it's stiff at first, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden it starts molding and shaping to, the, to your feet and yep. it's like, Dang, it feels good now. Yes. Same like with the mattress. The fibers you're sleeping on it, I mean, that's 180, 200 pounds. I mean, what, 250? 
No, I'm just kidding. No, I, um, yeah, he no, lost like he's lost no. like 40 pounds, and now he's giving me a hard time. No, I'm just kidding. No, yeah. no, but you know, you're sleeping on that one area for six, seven, eight hours a night, and of course, it's the fibers are just gonna start, you know, compressing, and it's the natural shape it'll take. You should take the rest of their life. Yeah, yeah, and it's just gonna sell. Usually it's just that top layer that's settling. Cause you know, there's three parts to a mattress. You got the top layer, you got the comfort layers where the most of the cushion is, then you got the support layer. Usually it's that top layer is going to settle some a bit, mm -hmm. you know? That happens with any mattress. It doesn't matter the quality of the mattress. It's gonna happen with just about every mattress. Even these ultra luxury mattresses. Mm -hmm. and when I say ultra luxury, I'm talking about the $30,000, $100,000 mattresses that happens to, because I know this, I have a friend, he was a rep for this super luxury mattress company. And he came into my store one day on the phone, he was getting an earful from this customer who would just talk about her mattress dip about three quarters of an inch. It shouldn't be happening for the money that she spent. And she spent about $80,000 per mattress and it just happens. It's just the natural degradation of this. That's common with every mattress. It's just that natural settling of the fiber in the foam. Yeah, especially when using natural fibers too, like wool, right? Wool, yeah. Wool, there's cotton. If there's cotton batting inside of it, it'll start compressing and then all of a sudden there's a stopping point. Yes, Right. but here's the thing now. I got a new mattress because my mattress is dipping. You know, yeah. it shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. This is why I replaced my mattress right. because it's starting to dip. No. Nope. So what's the difference between the body impression and a sag? Yeah. Why is there a difference? Yeah, I mean, a, a sag will be is like, if it's starting to lose that comfort layer, yes. right? The pressure relief of the comfort layer. Yes. And all of a sudden now you're in a hole. That's different. That's different. There is a difference when the body impression versus a sag, that is what you're saying, the comfort layers or the support layers are starting to lose support. You know, we're gonna do a whole video on that, you know, but that way you don't want. You yeah. don't want it. Body impression is not gonna affect the comfort and it's not gonna affect the support of the mattress. Mm -hmm you know, but visually you might see it settled just a little bit. Just to touch on that too, I mean, because it is a common thing in, on king sizes and queen sizes, yep. you mainly see that because of, I mean, one, people don't typically sleep in the middle, Yeah. right? So you typically see that raise, some people call it the mountain in the middle, it's because nobody ever sleeps in that spot, so. So here's how you prevent it. When yeah. you first get a new mattress, try to sleep on the whole surface of the bed. On a king size, it's gonna take a little bit more work because there's just more surface to cover. So rotate the mattress head to foot. If you could flip it, flip it, but try to sleep on the whole surface of the bed because within that first six months is probably the most crucial is when everything is settling i would say rotate it even some people have them walk on it with their knees if it really bothers just so it speeds up that settling process but yeah that little body impression most likely it's going to happen it's not a defect in the mattress mm -hmm. it's going to happen a little bit you just don't want it to dip you know from the support layer or the, or the comfort layer over like an inch inch and a half that's yeah. pretty excessive but a little bit is going to be common yes so that is number and we'll, we'll do another video we'll go a little bit more depth in this but a body impression is common okay so the third thing to expect with your new mattress game. What's the third thing that they need to look out for when they get a new mattress? The third thing that you want to look out for, be aware of is there's going to be size variations. Yep, yep. Size variations, every mattress is going to have a little bit of a variation within size. Remember, these are handmade, most of them. And for example, a queen size, standard size is going to be 60 inches wide by 80 inches long. So 60 by 80, it may come in at 59 by 81. There's always give or take an inch, inch and a half sometimes, you know, because foam, can expand or contract, especially on these pre-compressed ones. Mm -hmm. They can be a little bit compressed. You know, coils can expand and contract. So there's a little bit of variation. Sometimes people call it like, hey, I bought a queen size or a king size. You know, California king is supposed to be 72 by 84. Why is it 71 by 83? Did you rip me off? You're like, yeah. there is a little bit of a variance. Or the thickness in like latex I've seen. Yes. You know, Dunlop latex, I'm in six inch blocks. Not right, just Dunlop latex, but it's a six inch latex piece and it cuts me like, Hey, this measures, yeah, five and three quarters. That's true. That's like, Good point. Even a quarter of inch is a little bit more than I see, but yeah, a quarter inch yeah. I've seen it at the most, you know? Maybe of like an eighth maybe of an inch. Maybe an eighth of an inch or something. Yeah, like quarter that, inch, but yeah. You get my guess. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you're right. Yeah, the thickness, you know, can convert. Yeah, this is supposed to be nine inches of latex. Why is it eight and five eighths, yeah. you know? And it's secretly a little bit. keeping that eighth of an inch for yeah. ourselves. Yes, or the wool it compresses some. So there's always gonna be a little bit of a variance, you know, with size. Yeah. So yeah, we, we don't gotta go too much deeper in that. There's gonna be a little bit of size variation. You're not getting ripped off, unless there's over an inch and a half, two inches of variance, then you might wanna call where, the place where you bought it from. But yeah, there's always a little bit of variation. Okay, so the fourth thing that, what to expect with your new mattress. This is a pretty, pretty big one. Yeah, I would say little imperfections in the mattress, a little bit of scuff marks or blemishes that you might see in the materials yeah. or in the mattress. So 
Gabe, like, give me some examples. Yeah, common one would be just top of the mattress on the quilting of the bed, you know? You see like these designs, the triangle shape or, you know, just the way the fabric looks on top. Yes. That's the quilting of the mattress or the quilting of the, the panel. And sometimes there's like loose threads. A couple loose threads that might be a skip, you yeah. know? Might be a little skip in the quilting. Just cut them off with scissors, you know? Doesn't affect the feel, doesn't affect the durability, doesn't affect the warranty. It's just snip it, it's not gonna do anything. Yeah, yeah. And so, or like sometimes on delivery, you know, or when the mattress is shipped to you, you got this big, huge, bulky item. You're transporting it in from, it goes from the factory, the trucks, mm -hmm. the warehouse, then the truck again, and then customer's house, you're transporting it. There might be a little bit of a scuff mark. Like, I hate it. God forbid that happens. I hate that, but it does happen. It doesn't, again, it doesn't affect the comfort, the support, you know? I mean, there's a big tear. Let, let the store know, you know, where you guys get it from, but that's gonna happen, yeah. you know, so. And also uh, like the imperfections in latex. We do a lot of latex. That is true. That's Good point. Do you know, is the, uh, and, and especially since we make ours with a zipper cover, you can see inside of the mattress. Yes, yes. You can see, you know, any imperfections in either the latex or the foam, right? Because latex, it's a natural product. There's variations, it's baked, you know, almost like a waffle maker, kind of, you know, but then there's little air pockets. You'll see these little imperfections with latex, you know, if you can see it inside. Most mattresses, you cannot see inside. In our beds, you can see inside. And this happens with just, not just with latex, but with foam as well. But yeah, a little imperfection. It doesn't affect the comfort the support, the durability. If you're uncomfortable with it, bring it to the attention, but just wanted to give you a heads up that there are things to expect. A little, uh, little tidbit. Little tidbit. What do they call them? Beauty marks? Beauty marks or freckles on, freckles. on latex, yes. right? Yes, our latex vendor, we brought it to his attention and it's like, they're beauty marks. They're yeah. beauty marks in the latex. So it's okay. You know, I got a beauty mark somewhere around here, you know, but they don't, I don't think people consider it a beauty mark. Okay, so that is the fourth thing to look to expect with your new mattress. Okay, so I would say the fifth thing, the last thing to expect with your new mattress, and this one comes up quite a bit as well. Gabe, what's the number one, the five thing? The number one, five. The five thing is new mattress smell. New mattress smell. Yeah. I like to say scent. Yeah, the odor, you know, reeks or <laughs> yes. When you get a new mattress, there's gonna be, like anything new, there's going to be a new odor or a scent with a new mattress. I would say this can be imp very important though too. There's different types of odor. You know, if you get a typical mattress with, you know, the foams, the polyurethanes, I mean, glues. the glues, those are gonna have a much distinct odor from a natural mattress, like a latex cotton wool mattress. And some people are really susceptible and sensitive to the mattress sense, you know? I don't wanna say, I cannot emphatically say that it's harmful, but I would say if you're sensitive to that thing, just pay attention, you know? If you're gonna get more of a synthetic one, it might not be the right one for you, you know? There is gonna have an odor. You're gonna smell like the polyurethane, because the mattresses, they're made, they're sealed up right away in plastic. A lot of them are compressed. All that smell is gonna, once you open that plastic, you're gonna notice it, and some people can't handle it. Is it harmful? I don't wanna say it's not, because I don't know. I haven't done any testing, but I cannot do colognes, perfumes, like synthetic air fresheners. I get headaches. Same thing with like new products. My sister just got a new car a couple, a few weeks ago, and people love it. I hate that smell. It just gives me a headache when I'm in there, you know? So yeah, if you're sensitive to that, Pay attention. If you're sensitive to those things and you get a synthetic mattress, you know, it may not be the right one for you, you know, yeah. if you could smell it. So, and the natural side too, it does have an odor as well. Yes, yep. It's a natural rubber, so it's, it is, it's a rubber. Yeah. It smells like, I mean, the tally smells a little, has a little sweet smell to it. So people say vanilla, yeah. you know, it is a different smell, but there's a difference between off gassing yeah. and just an odor. Yeah. You know, so. One, I would pay more attention to. One is just that odor will go away. So the new mattress scent is something that you're gonna notice most likely when you get a new mattress. And open windows, right? Let it breathe. Let it breathe out, yeah, let it air out. Sometimes, a lot of times it just takes a day or two or a few hours for it to dissipate, you know? You'll, you're gonna notice that. All right, I think we're good. Yeah. Those are the fifth those, thing, those, yeah. Those are the five uh, things and what to expect the new mattress. So I hope this video helps you guys on your mattress shopping journey. And if you want to go a little bit more depth in this topic, we actually put a, together a PDF where we give our customers what to expect with your new mattress. It goes a little bit more depth. And as a bonus, we even put together like seven mistakes not to make when shopping for a new mattress. So I hope this helped you guys. Gabe, is there anything else? No, that's it. Thank you for watching and like, subscribe, share it with the friend that's in the mattress shopping journey. And yeah, if you're actually still on your shopping journey too, 
I think in the next video that I would watch is Should You Trust Mattress Review? That's a great video on just helping you like navigate the world of online mattress shopping. And also, if you want to see us take apart a mattress, you know, we put to, took apart a cool, you know, name brand mattress, click on this video. So, hope this helped you. Thank you. Sleep well. God bless.